just waiting for my life to settle a little before I do that. Um, I feel like the medication I'm taking makes me kind of puffy and bloated. It makes me retain water, which I don't mind so much because I'm not peeing as much. And so I'm able to sleep throughout the night without having to get up so many times to pee. I was getting up like four or five times a night to go to the bathroom like every two hours and then I would wake up to drink some water too because I'm thirsty and then I gotta pee again in an hour <laughs> so that um, doesn't happen as much I can hold it for longer but I'm holding it in here on the plus side I can pee for longer too I'm not just going and I'm done I'm like and it's happening for a long time Right again. So my bone scan um, came back. The rheumatologist looked at it and she said that she did not find any arthritis in my bones at all, which is kind of a good thing, I guess. arthritis in my bones, which means I don't have psoriatic arthritis like we thought I did. I don't know if I've talked about this already. I might have. I might have already said this. Maybe I talked about it yesterday. I don't know. I'm losing it. So if, I, if I already talked about this, then you're going to hear it again. Because <laughs> I don't know. Um, today's kind of been a blur. It's like cloudy in my mind. <sighs> Just on autopilot doing shit that I know I need to do work-wise. probably need to eat. I had an orange and some gluten-free crackers and a chai tea. I'm not really hungry, but I haven't had that much to eat. I had my vitamins today, so that's good. I keep getting really hot, and I know you can see in my face it's getting hotter. I don't know what that's about. I don't know why that's happening. So back to what I think I already talked about. Um, I do not have psoriatic arthritis after all. And the rheumatologist says that I don't have lupus either because those are autoimmune disorders and she says that I don't have one. She says that I have fibromyalgia, which is something it's neurological and she cannot treat. And most neurologists don't really treat that either. My primary care doctor would be the one to treat it. And the only thing they do is prescribe um, antidepressants, things like nortriptyline, what I'm taking, to help with the nerve pain and help to sleep. I took 50 milligrams last night and I slept. I slept really good and I feel like I'm still asleep today. I think that is um, the problem with me today is I feel really, maybe I'm drugged. Maybe that's, that's what I'm feeling is drugged. I feel tired. Um, it's hard to wake up when I take 50 milligrams. But I do sleep, so that's a plus. The other thing that she said that I could do is stretch, acupuncture, yoga, um, intensive yoga is tough. I tried that. I tried going and doing yoga and my body hurts so bad. I 
could even balance on my feet. It was it was a really bad yoga day. So maybe not those intense poses like I used to do. I think I need to get back to working out. And remembering to eat. I gotta remember to eat. eyes are twitching right now. What's causing this inflammation? I mean, I noticed from the moment I started talking to you to now, my face is increasingly gotten redder. I don't know if I'm seeing things or if it's the lighting or if I'm just starting not to feel good all of a sudden. All of a sudden, uh, you know what? I need to turn off my seat warmer. <laughs> Maybe that's it. <laughs> like, God, why am I so hot? <laughs> okay, my seat warmer was on 73. That could be it. I need to pay attention to that. <laughs> wow. So. This weekend, we're gonna start moving some more shit. Hopefully, by Sunday, staying the night in our new trailer. And then making trips to clean out the apartment. So that's it. That's it for today. I'm gonna be looking up uh, ways to Help me deal with the fibromyalgia. I think I need to go to therapy, like some trauma therapy, because I was reading that people that have childhood trauma are more likely to have fibromyalgia later in the future, according to a study. And I think that's true. Totally. Maybe the way my brain was uh, wired as a child. I need, I need to learn to just calm down my mind. It's like always going. On the plus side, I'm not having nightmares anymore. I haven't had a nightmare in a while, so that's good. My stress level is decreasing the closer we get to moving out of this uh, apartment. But it's still stress. I'm still stressed about school. So my head just started hurting again. Right there in 